Good afternoon, everyone. We're back with another upload. This time it is my recording from this morning when I was starting the first day of the Raiko event. Now, this is day zero, technically, because we're not doing any uh, sleep reviews. And so I'm just gonna play this video and I'm gonna talk over it and explain a little bit about what I was doing here. So you can see that I'm getting a uh, warning here uh, because the incense would be um, neglected when you do um, sleep sessions later after you've switched sites. Um, and essentially there is no consequence here for me because there were no incenses. So I was just eager to uh, wake up a little bit early. I, I woke up anyhow at this time. And so I uh, initially thought I would get an awful <laughs> weekly summary, but as my previous video showed, uh, that was later corrected once the game uh, got my sleep data, which was really nice. I got five extra uh, handy candy from that. And then while I select the island here, you can see that my um, area bonus is 55%. And um, yeah, Professor uh, Neroli here is giving us some uh, information about how Raiko is at Greengrass and um, there are some Raiko mains to collect. And uh, we are on the hunt for the Raiko incense to uh, get a Raiko. So the thing with Raiko is all of its uh, sub skills are uh, locked as well as the nature. The nature is neutral. The first sub skill is EXP up. The second is uh, skill level up S, and then it's inventory L, helping speed S, and skill trigger S. Now you can see this first Snorlax was not it. Uh, I don't uh, know if that was salads or what it was, but not a fan. So without touching anything, I just went straight into the bag here and I went looking for the ZZZ ticket. So I spent quite a few of these and uh, we'll get back to talking about uh, Raikou uh, a little later. But yeah, I spent a few of these tickets and oh man, I didn't even get a good roll after spending three tickets because not even this one was acceptable. I got the uh, Citrus and the Lepa. I don't have any of those and I got the Surge. This was literally one of the worst I could got uh, I could have gotten. And so I was like, oh man, I was hoping I could like do uh, two tickets this week and two tickets next week, but it was just not happy with me. So after the third one, I got salads and I was just like, okay, this is it. I'm just going to be cooking all week because I'm not going to get any berries. I do have Ampharos and um, yeah, it's just not going to be all that good. Well, I guess the... The Sylveon is going to provide some berries, but it's not got berry finding or anything like that. I guess my uh, Togepi, that is named Togekiss in all caps, could have been a good Pokemon for uh, this event, but it is like level 11. Uh, I tried to see if I could boost it up to like 25, but there's no chance. And uh, in addition, I haven't done any of the uh, sleep time yet with that Togepi, so I, I need to remind myself, in two weeks, I need to do that and just level up the, um, or get some um, hours on the Togepi because it does require 50 hours to evolve. And so whenever I would be ready to start powering up this Togepi, I can just go for it. And potentially, I can just evolve it into Togekiss right away and just have it as like a level 12 Togekiss. That could be fine as well. And so you can see that I'm clicking all the stuff here, just gathering all the ingredients uh, and triggering all the skills. Now, here was the big setup. I have been running uh, Cooking Pot up. You can see I got main skill plus 195, and then I popped a good camp ticket, which gave me a tremendous uh, cooking pot size of uh, 369. Now, I thought for some reason that the extra tasty chance would also carry over, um, but it did not. It's just the dinner that I didn't cook Sunday night that's now showing up at 5 a.m. 
because I was pretty excited about this event. So the only ingredient I'm going to leave out here are uh, the large leeks uh, because I'm going to try to make a lot of uh, ninja salads this week. And so for the other ingredients, I am mostly fine. Um, I think potentially I could run low on the mushrooms. I should not have left the mushrooms in there. Um, but I was just putting everything in, so the next time I'm cooking, I need to remember that. <laughs> to just, uh, slow down a little bit on the mushrooms, because, uh, 48 mushrooms is a lot. But I was just hoping and praying for that crit meal. Can you imagine? I would have gotten a hundred thousand times three if I actually had the extra tasty from Sunday. Um, this one would have gotten 200, though, if it just randomly got extra tasty, but... That 200 first meal for the week, that would have been a big deal. But I mean, 100,000 is also pretty good. So, just straight to Ultra 2. Uh, got a whole bunch of uh, weekly, uh, what would you say, uh, missions completed. It's been a good while since I was at Greengrass, man. And um, I was surprised to see that I had 55% on it. Um, that means the current maximum of 60% will uh, be reached into next week, which means next week's area bonus will just be neutered. <laughs> it won't go towards anything, but at the very least, I get the maximum potential at, at Lakeside. Uh, what am I saying? At Greengrass, while the Raikou event is happening. So I had a couple hundred berries <laughs> from all of that. That was pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, you can see my Flareon. Um, I essentially was running Magnezone. Glazion and the Flareon at the same time all day yesterday and I think some on Saturday into the Sunday as well so I've just been stacking and uh, well no I think at the very least it was all Sunday so I've just been tapping and uh, getting all the cooking pot um, bonuses and uh, at some point I saw that I was approaching 200 which if I'm not mistaken is the current limit of how much you can stack up the cooking pot uh, past its uh, limit and that's just from the main skills so from main skills specifically you can get a bonus of max 200 uh, into the pot uh, size and then you have the good camp ticket and then you have the base size of the cooking pot for me that is 51 currently and so you can see that I'm having a look here at the butterfree just slowly crying inside and then uh, yeah this uh, Christmas hat Pikachu is pretty good it's got the helping bonus uh, I just don't have the Dream Shards. I have invested in way too many Pokemon. Like, if you look at my collection, I have like 25 plus Pokemon, maybe 30. That is level 25 and above. Mostly level 30 and up, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I am hoping to just boost this Ampharos to level 50 sometime soon. Uh, because... It's got that skill level up S waiting for it at level 50, which means the main skill will reach level 7, which is pretty hype. And then the Ampharos is pretty good this week. So we'll just have to see. Um, I'm likely going to bring out the uh, Butterfree for the night into uh, Tuesday, because it is the um, good sleep day event, which means that whatever... Um, Snorlax strength I'll have at the end of this day and for you two, uh, for those of you who are playing We'll get that 4x multiplier since the good sleep event is on a, a Monday with a full moon, which is pretty exciting So if I reach like 200,000, which is likely I'll have 80 million for that first uh, sleep session um, And then tomorrow it will be 1.5, which is nowhere near it, but maybe we'll get to like 35 mil, 40 mil, something like that, and then we'll hit like 30 mil again, and well at that point I should probably have 400, 300, just big numbers overall, so we're gonna collect those Raikou mains, uh, don't be worried about that. And uh, yeah, I think we can also talk a little bit about the um, Raikou here, um, if we have a look at the stats, these are still in the works uh, at Raynanax. Um, I've only read that word ever. Uh, so yeah, currently it seems the skill rate is 1.9. That is very low compared to most skill specialists. Uh, typically they are hovering around 4-5%, maybe 6 depending on the Pokemon. 
Uh, but Raikou is the fastest Pokemon of all Pokemon. And um, the main skill is pretty busted when you see how it all stacks up. So um, I am thinking that Raikou could be a good, good addition. Um, especially when I have a really good Ampharos and if I can get my hands on a, a great Berry Finding Raichu. Then I can run uh, Raikou, I can run Ampharos, I can run uh, Raichu, Sylveon, and potentially um, a Meganium at, at Lakeside. Uh, until I get a lot of Meganium, in which case I'll just run Sylveon and, and four Meganium. So uh, another thing with the Raikou is the ingredient list. So all these sub skills are locked for the first Raikou that you catch or encounter and befriend, uh, as well as the nature. Um, so the ingredients are random. I'm hoping for sausage, herb, and leek on my first Raikou. Um, overall, I'm not too fan of the sub skills and the nature. And so I will be capping the level and usage of the first Raikou to level 25. Uh, hopefully I can get a Raikou into um, the Wednesday perhaps. Uh, likely not on the first encounter, but then I will be uh, using that Raikou um, at level 25 and up, but I won't invest any more. And at that point, I'll just go on the long, long term hunt for a better Raikou because it's it's decent, it's just a little bit below what I would have liked it to be. Uh, I want at least one skill trigger am early on, uh, and at that point with just somewhat of a beneficial nature, I'm good. Now you can have a look uh, at the video here, I just showed my Pikachu. It'll require me 125 million, uh, no, not a million, but thousand uh, Dream Shards to get it to level 50. Uh, the Clefairy here is the other very uh, specialist that I have that is favored this week. But it's not looking good, uh, aside from the Butterfree. So, uh, at some point here I also uh, go into the Berry Finding just to see if I can recover anything. But all the Pokemon have the 50 hours sleep requirement, which is so funny. I wonder if they had this in mind all, all the way from like back in the day. And they were like, yeah, we're gonna mess some people up here with the 50 hours. Uh, I should have thought about that a little bit earlier, especially last week when I wasn't really doing much at Lakeside anyhow, uh, except looking for Pichu and some low-level stuff um, and just trying to get the area bonus at Lakeside up because at 10% it's not gonna do much. Like at uh, Snowdrop I have like 35-40% something like this and uh, Greengrass is 55 and um, you get that bonus everywhere so yeah, I have a lot of Togepi, uh, and quite a few with Berry Finding as well, just showing up randomly at like 25 and 50, uh, so that is pretty good. This one is Berry Finding um, and Adamant, so that is definitely one to consider in the future uh, if I ever want some sort of like weird uh, Berry Finding strategy with a Fairy Berry. But uh, yeah. Then again, Togepi and um, Togekiss overall is not a particularly good Pokemon, uh, especially not if you are aiming for the, the berries. But the, um, the Togepi here that I have capitalized and am gonna evolve into Togekiss, it's, it's god tier. So unfortunately the team here is not looking too strong, so essentially my strategy will be run Sylveon, until I can get my hands on a um, Raikou and then I'll be running Sylveon, Ampharos, Raikou and then just switch around my ingredient farmers. So for the most part I'm hoping I can cook more or less ninja salad all day every day. I'll just have to cap the pot size on the ingredients. I think I'll never run out of beans and then I'll be um, avoiding using the leeks, the mushrooms, and the ginger. And at that point, I think I should be set. Could be pretty, pretty cool if this uh, Raikou somehow has the, um, the sausage and the herbs, because then I can consider 
boosting it to level 30. I don't remember um, having heard which level the Raikou shows up at. My guess is like 28, something like that. And then you have to put some candy in to get it to level 30. Uh, but if it's under 25, I'd be super surprised. But yeah. Oh, that was the video. And um, yeah, essentially that was the day zero here for the Raikou. And uh, I'm looking forward to use a, a growth incense to maximize that experience because as it is the good sleep day event, we do get that bonus. And then we'll just see if I'll be able to acquire a Raikou incense throughout the day. And then we can talk about that tomorrow. So hope you enjoyed these two videos today. The Raikou event is pretty exciting. And then for those of you who are affected by the bug, I hope that it will be resolved soon and that you overall will have a good experience with this event. So thank you so much for watching.